Don't know see Metal Fox and Tim Owen. We're going to take a quick look at the internals of the upgrade that I've done with the uh, Wave Blaster. Kind of a little preview and a show of the setup that I did. It actually has quite a bit of power, this little motor, running on the two cell configuration that I have. Uh, let me bring it over and you can see it is the uh, CF2805 Emacs. This is a 2800 kV motor. And uh, this will run on the two cell configuration. And uh, looks like this boat's going to turn out better. It didn't seem to have the torque roll tendency that the Christina had. And this is the Wave Blaster, one of the uh, fast lane models uh, from Toys R Us that I had upgraded. Uh, so, yeah, I did uh, basically, I got the uh, ESC in there. There's actually little O-rings that it comes with uh, that are actually used to seal the original components, which are all in, uh, inferior 27 megahertz radio systems. Basically, you have more modern radio systems and uh, much more powerful uh, electronic control uh, items. So uh, yeah, basically the brushless motor Servos are of much better quality uh, in hobby grade than with the toy grade. The toy grade is the biggest piece of crap stuff. You give me one moment, I'll find it. Uh, here we go. This big, huge, pointless thing was a servo. This is ridiculously huge for absolutely no reason. You don't need that much torque or that much... I don't think this thing had much torque anyway. But uh, then we got the uh, receiver and control panel. Then we got a brushed motor. This little thing, obviously, you could see by other people's little uh, videos that they do, just driving at stock. The thing's as slow as all heck. I watched somebody else's video, and of course, with the stock controller, it has no proportion. Uh, so, yeah, I upgraded it with my radio system. It's running a DSM 2 uh, compatible Orange RX receiver in there. A DLUX 30 amp ESC, an Emacs CF2805, which is a 2800 kV motor, and a TG9 servo. This is a Hobby King, the Orange RX, and the DLUX Speed Control Hobby King. Uh, the Emacs you can get, I believe, from most of our retailers in the United States, other than Hobby King, uh, I believe. Tower Hobby may have them. There's these other hobby stores that have them. But in general, it seems like it may be a great uh, platform that will work. Uh, we'll see when uh, we uh, get some clear waters around here, maybe at Old Bam Morgan, before it starts to get co uh, too warm and we get the damn seaweed, because, of course, everyone loves seaweed getting stuck on their motors, but the motors don't love it. Yeah, that's a joke, of course. Horrible, as usual. But I'll be running it off a DX6i. And we'll give you a quick little view of how the uh, prop spins. We'll just plug it in real quick. And this is going to go up only to half throttle. So. And the reason it's why it's kind of late and I don't want to disturb my neighbors. Uh, oh, yeah. There's a little show with that. And uh, hopefully you guys look forward to seeing this thing on the water. I look forward to testing it. So, uh, again, this is the uh, upgrade of the Wave Blaster. It's a rather simple setup. Uh, throttle, rotor, boats pretty much are. But, uh, yeah. Well, let's see how it goes. Don't lose me. Metal Fox 1991. Comment or subscribe. Take care. Bye.